2018 Finance Committee meeting. Committee members present, President Kushmerick, myself, Councilor Dinatali, Councilor Boschman, Councilor Zarella, Councilor Walsh, and also present, Councilor Squalia. We'll start with 2018, a petition there, Stephen L. Dinatali, to request input from various city entities as to whether or not to exercise its right of first refusal to purchase property located at Pearl Hill Road and High Rock Road as outlined in the petition. Um, Councilors, I'm going to read a certified mail letter sent on June 29th, 2018 from the attorney at law, Richard Sella, uh, regarding the notice of intent to sell Lonnie Orchards, Pearl Hill Road, Fitchburg, and High Rock Road, Fitchburg. <coughs> Dear sir or madam, the undersigned represents Gennaro, Lonnie, Nicola Lonnie, and Mario Lonnie, collectively the Lonnies. The Lonnies have entered into a purchase and sale agreement for the sale of their real estate located at Pearl Hill Road and High Rock Road, Fitchburg, with Mark A. Finelli. The property is subject to option to purchase right of first refusal to the city of Fitchburg. Mr. Finelli, the buyer, as you can see from the attached copy of the PNS, is expecting to build a single family residence. Attached are copies of the following copy of PNS copy of notice from the registry of deeds copy of deed copy of plan you are being requested to waive your option to purchase the premises uh, your, yours truly Richard a Sella um, I also have feedback from the clerk's office regarding the, the right of refusal from various departments including planning conservation uh, water and DPW have expressed no interest in the lot um, and tonight's meeting and vote is to give our stamp on whether we wish to refuse uh, the rights to the property and allow the sale to go through or Motion not. Motion to, de to deny to 2018. What? I have a motion to deny to 2018. You're looking for input one way or another, either yay or nay, would we like to exercise, correct? To deny or approve. <laughs> well, the petition reads, Councillor, whether or not to. Yeah. Um, so I read that to mean uh, Mr. Pusateri is here. Uh, how that was my question from the start is how would we be deciding on this if we were for refusing the rights or against refusing the rights? This petition says whether or not. Okay. So, so I, I would make a, a I would like to see a motion in the affirmative to waive your right um, uh, to reclaim or to require uh, uh, purchase this property. It's relatively very straightforward, this, this, this type of petition. Uh, with this body, my recommendation is for this body to simply waive, make a limited waiver of its right, which tracks closely the current deal in front of you. You, you have the right to exercise a deal that's consistent with what they have, and you're going to waive the right to buy this particular piece of property so Mr. to P put it to this particular use. Uh, Solicitor Pusteri, would that be an amendment to this existing petition to reflect that text that I you've, don't have you've the just petition said? in front of me, so what is the okay. petition? Mayor Stephen Aldina Talley to request input from various city entities as to whether or not exercise its right of first refusal to purchase property located at Pearl Hill Road and High Rock Road as outlined in the enclosed petition. input from the various city entities as to whether or not to exercise so I would I would uh, look for a motion to exercise the right no, we have to, to do it in a limited fashion okay. you're exercising so the right um, you're exercising you're waiving your right mm -hmm. to purchase this property prior to December 31st 2018 consistent with the terms of the purchase and sale agreement which is for an amount of thirty three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars down two hundred fifty thousand dollars to be paid by certified bank check and a hundred thousand dollars to be paid by the execution of a promissory note according to terms i have a proposed waiver that would be here i do have one small typo on it so i haven't handed it in but it's it's relatively straightforward we waive our rights to buy the property based on those terms mr brooks have you recorded that I have it down as a motion to waive. A motion to waive the city's right to purchase property. Uh, yeah. Excuse the typo. Is that the? Yeah, this is the actual motion. Waive. Mr. Chair, I think procedurally, I think we should we should amend the petition to reflect mm -hmm. the language. That's correct. All right, I'd, I'd so move. Second. Motion made and seconded to amend to 2018 to reflect the 
uh, terminology and statement provided by uh, the city solicitor on the council's recommend the finance committee's recommendation to uh, waive our rights to the property. Do I have a, uh, all those in favor of amending? Council Boschman. So what you're saying to us that we can't go after that property if we wanted to. If Mr. Brooks said tonight we could afford it, <coughs> we wanted to buy that property and hand it over to the redevelopment so they can process it to say put solar field up for the city of Fitzwick, we're saying no to the idea. Right. You 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 have the option to either exercise the right to purchase it for the terms under that purchase and sale. Or, or allow them to proceed with that purchase and sale agreement. You can't let them be in a worse situation. So if you want to, if what you wanted to do was buy it and put a solar farm up there, then you would have to exercise uh, your right to purchase it on terms no worse than that purchase and sale agreement. Yeah, three hundred twenty-five thousand. It's fifty thousand dollars an acre. Mm. That's what it costs. In a residential area, in that R and R area up there at Pearl Hill Road. Okay. So, Mr. Brook, can I talk, Mr. Mr. President? May I ask Mr. Brook one question? If, if this council says tonight they voted Mr. Chris Merrick's proposal now, and they say no, we want the right to purchase. Could we afford it? Um, a short answer is no. A long answer is it depends on on how important this is for the city of Fitchburg. If, it, if it's a key to a 50-year development plan, then it, it becomes important to at least examine whether or not we want to be able to afford it. But a short answer would be no. If, it's, if you're just looking to, there's some land and we want to buy it, there's not cash floating around to pay for it. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Motion made and seconded to amend to 2018. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is before you. Motion to accept is amended. Second. Motion made and seconded to accept 22018 as amended. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you. Thank you, counselors. 23218. In order that the city of Fitchburg hereby <coughs> approves the expenditure of funds from the Digital Federal Credit Union gift in the approximate amount of $7,500 for the purpose of said gift, which is to support the police department efforts with disadvantaged youth and other community programs. I have a letter here from Chief Martineau dated August 13th to the Mayor. Dear Mayor Dean Natale, the Police Department has received a gift from DCU in the amount of $7,500. This donation was given for the purpose of supporting our efforts with the disadvantaged youth and community programs in the City of Fitchburg. I respectfully request that we accept these funds for the purpose stated above and deposit them into our at-risk youth account. Thank you for your consideration. Questions for the Chief? To approve two thirty two eighteen. Motion second. Ma motion made and seconded to approve two thirty two eighteen. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Not opposed. It is unanimous. I just wanted uh, the opportunity to thank DCU for once again. Um, they really came up big this year. Um, they've been a strong supporter of our youth program, um, especially uh, our junior police academy. Um, in past years, it's been a five thousand dollar donation. They they upped it to seventy five hundred this year. Um, DCU has been a strong supporter of our initiatives with our youth program, so I'd like to thank them for that. Thank you. Moving on to 23318, in order that the City of Fitchburg approves the expenditure of funds from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, State 911 Department Grant, in the approximate amount of $139,953 for the purpose of said grant, which is to support salaries and provide repair and enhancement to the E911 service system in the Police Department. Letter dated July 25th, 2018 from Chief Martineau to the Mayor. The Fitchburg Police Department has received an allocation of funds totaling 139953 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Public Safety and Security State 911 Department. These awarded funds are intended to support salaries and or provide repair and enhancements to our department's E911 service system. Our goal is to defer the compensation of certified E911 dispatch call takers with this resource. This grant period ends June 30th, 2019. I request your approval to start spending down these funds. Make a motion we accept. Can, second. I, uh, can I speak prior to you making a motion? I had a motion made and seconded to approve. If you will yield the floor to the committee member. The, the council to the, the aisle. Councilor Squalio. 
Um, can you tell me what the yearly um, grant is? This is a, an, a, do we get this grant every single year, and how has the trend been? Sure. We've been very fortunate to receive this year. Um, when we're putting together our operating budget for any given fiscal year, we, we, try, we try our best to make estimates. If you look at the budget, we, we estimated $115,000 when we were putting together our FY19. Um, came in a little bit higher this year, twenty thousand dollars higher. So that does offset some of the salary costs. Um, in addition to training, um, we, we utilize some of this money for training as well. Um, we provide training to uh, not only police dispatches but firefighters at work in, in their dispatch room. Um, so we're very fortunate that it, we got a little bit more. But historically, this number has been coming down. Less and less has been coming from EOPS to subsidize nine one one. Fortunately, this year we, we did receive a little bit more, but every year we have to estimate what we're going to receive from the uh, state. Was last year's as, um, um, grant how much lower than 139? Within a few thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was fairly close. So fairly similar. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Motion made and seconded to approve 233.18. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. 23418 in order that the city of Fitchburg hereby approves the expenditure of additional funds from the Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Highway Safety Division grant in the approximate amount of $8,637.29 for the purpose of said grant which is to enhance traffic safety through high visibility enforcement patrols and purchase of traffic safety related equipment. Letter from Chief Martineau dated August 1st to the mayor. The Fitchburg Police Department has received an allocation of funds from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security Office of Grants and Research Highway Safety Division. We have received additional funds in the amount of $3,271.04 for enforcements as well as $5,366.25 for equipment. These awarded funds are intended to enhance traffic safety through high visibility enforcement patrols focusing on impaired driving and occupant protection mobilizations as well as purchase traffic safety related equipment. I request your approval to start spending down these funds. Chief Martineau. Council Squalia. And is this a grant that we normally get? It is. Um, there was more money available this year. Uh, the governor um, allocated extra money for highway safety um, after he finished up his budget. That's the reason you're seeing these additional funds. Uh, the majority of it is going towards the equipment, um, equipment repair. Um, that equipment is, uh, that traffic account, that's the uh, money that we purchase our speed trailers with. Um, anything to do with traffic related items, we will purchase that. So um, this extra $5,000 will go a long way when we're trying to buy additional equipment, especially the uh, speed trailers. Um, Are there more speed trailers that we need to purchase or repair? We're, we're, we just ordered a new one out of the traffic revolving account, so this 5000 we had the money in to buy one, but this will go back into that account um, to replenish what we just took out for our second uh, speed trailer that we just bought. When you say speed trailer, is that the, the thing that you bring up and it tells you what the speed of the motorists that drive by? Right. We, we have three devices we use. We're going to have two of the, those devices, and we have a, another device that... Uh, can go undetected in neighborhoods. Mm. And when you say um, also uh, high visibility enforcement patrols and um, impaired driving, what, what are you looking for for the impaired driving? Uh, drunk driving. Now uh, driving while high is part of it as all well. Um, this extra $3,200 that will go towards 18 deployments, four hour deployments uh, with police officers on overtime um, working beyond their shift. Um, usually, uh, usually in the later evenings, um, but this will give us 18 additional deployments at four hours, uh, four hours of deployment. To specifically target um, areas that might have yeah. impaired driving. Impaired driving. We also do a, a click at a ticket uh, campaign, um, but we, we try to pick specific spots in the city. We'll work with the state police on deployments, um, and, and this does go a long way when, when you're when you're trying to manage your overtime budget. This gives us an extra opportunity to put extra. And like cell phone texting crackdown. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. I make a motion to accept 234.18. Second. Motion made and seconded to accept 234.18. Speaking on the motion, President Kushmarek. Uh, Chief, my, my comment applies to, to both this order and the, and the previous two that we just voted on, which is just simply, you know, congratulations to you and your to your department for receiving both the, the donation from DCU as well as um, these two grants. It's it's. Um, you know, I think it's a testament to the work that you and your department have done, um, you know, 
uh, even some of these more, you know, we'll call them routine or, or annual grants that we receive, that doesn't happen, you know, if you don't continue moving the department in the, in the right positive direction. You know, that's, that's certainly an affirmation of, you know, what the state um, and other agencies see in the work that you've done. Um, and, uh, and the statistics from this year, you know, clearly show the direction that, um, that, that the department and the city have continued to move in. So, so thank you for your efforts in, uh, in leading the department, and, and thank you to all those involved to uh, prepare these grant applications. Thank you. Motion made and seconded to approve 23418. All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> all those opposed? We are unanim unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. 23518, in order that the City of Fitchburg approves the expenditure of funds from the FEMA AFG grant in the approximate amount of $486,364 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase a new <coughs> pumper for the fire department. Letter from August 6, 2018 to Mayor Di Natale. Thank you for your acceptance of our FEMA AFG grant to purchase a much needed pumper for the Fitchburg Fire Department. This grant is for $535,000, 486,364 from FEMA, and 48,636 is the city's share. Could you please forward the grant to the City Council for their acceptance? If you have any questions regarding this issue, please contact me and thank you again for your continued support of our extremely important public safety agency in protecting the citizens of Fitchburg. With much gratitude, Kevin D. Roy, Chief of the Fire Department. I'm also going to take up 23618 with this because it goes hand in hand, and that is the $48,636 uh, city share that will be charged against reserve for other capital, for other municipal purposes, capital expenses, and credited to fire capital expenditures, vehicle replacement, which is the city's share. Motion to approve 235 like to and 23618. Second. Mr. President, you made the motion. I'm Sure, I'm happy to yield my time. Council Squalia. Thank you. Hi, Chief. Hi, Council. So this is this pumper is the grant that we've been writing for a while, and we finally got it. It is. We've applied for this pumper over, I think, six years in the past, and never received it. And this time, we were fortunate to get the grant for a large a large amount of money. Fantastic. And so this the with the addition of this pumper, it puts us up at NFPA standards for our fleet. It does, Councillor. This will make us getting two new pumpers, which I was here a number of times over the years, uh, saying that we had actually three pumpers that were in, in distress. Uh, this is going to replace uh, probably the 22-year-old and the 32-year-old pumpers, and it'll be the first time in my career that we'll meet the standards for the NFPA for our, all our uh, ap major apparatus of pumpers, ladders, and uh, rescue trucks, ambulances. And this leaves us one pumper that is in reserve? It is. It's, it's, it's going to do some work. The mayor and I had that discussion, and we're going to do everything we can. Uh, we'll probably continue to apply for future grants, but our chance of getting them will be very slim. For uh, so. grants for a reserve pumper? Correct. Yep. So, we, But we will continue to work in that direction. I believe that we'll, uh, we'll come up with a, a process to bring that last truck back into to maintenance uh, under our operating budget. Just wondering what happens with the old pumper trucks? The, the one of them, the 32-year-old, has to get traded in by grant. That's the reason why we got the grant, because it was 32 years old. So that truck is gone. Uh, the second truck um, will probably either be traded or, um, or we will just sell it if anyone wants it out there, or if not, it'll just go to scrap. Uh, there's a local scrap dealer in town. Uh, so we will probably offer it to other smaller departments that may have a use for it, uh, but we really haven't decided yet. We're trying to work out the kinks in the truck that's still out of service and out of town right now. Thank you. President Kushmer. I Chief, uh, same sentiment that I, I, I just want to voice, which is, you know, congratulations to you uh, and your department for, uh, for acquiring this grant. I know it's competitive. I know there's limited funds throughout the state, and, um, you know, our, our department certainly gets uh, as much action um, if not more than any other comparable city our size throughout the Commonwealth. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, I think it's because of the tremendous work that, that you uh, and the entire department do uh, that we're able to get funds like this. And uh, glad that we can, we can properly equip you uh, and your team um, with the right equipment uh, for all the action they see. I know, you know, unfortunately we saw it, um, we see it too frequently and, and saw it again um, uh, right up on Prospect Street. So. Um, excited that we'll we'll be able to uh, to get you the right equipment and get you get you new equipment um, and uh, hopefully hopefully we don't have to wait 30 years to continue to see you know some of this equipment um, hopefully we can get it into the um, you know the right rotation um, so that before we have to start spending things you know spending too much um, funds on uh, on annual repairs we can uh, we can continue um, in a in a pretty regular rotation. We appreciate that, Councilor. Thank you. 
Council Boschman. Pete, don't forget the, uh, that information I asked you for earlier today. Yep, absolutely, Council. I appreciate uh, it. Council, Mr. Chairman, if I may, th this, I'd just like to thank a few people. Uh, these grants are always, as, as Council Cotter <coughs> said, uh, this is a national grant, FEMA, and it's very competitive. Uh, on this grant, in particular grant, uh, Captain Dante Suarez did the uh, majority of the work in writing the grant. And as we said, we had been turned down a number of times, so it was his work and, and the effort that he put in that helped us get over the top. Um, we again have a, some of our committee members here tonight that write on write these specifications for the trucks. They do it on their own time. Uh, they volunteer their time. They do a tremendous job. This particular spec, because we've been applying for it so long, they've worked on it over a number of years. Uh, and uh, as Councilor Squalia said, the, uh, we're going to be up to the standards for the first time in, in many, many decades. I'd also like to thank uh, the mayor for his foresight and his support uh, on these grants, continued support. And this one was a little in particular because if we didn't get these specifications and contracts done by the end of this month, each of these trucks would have increased in price by $26,000 due to price increases on metal and aluminum. Um, so we had a lot of work for a number, number of city departments. Uh, the auditing department, Calvin and Jackie, did a great job uh, purchasing. Uh, Mary and Chris uh, kicked in over the last couple of weeks because it was really time sensitive to get all these things done and get everything in place. Uh, and uh, again, these trucks in bad need of replacement, and this is, uh, this is really a great thing for the people of Fitchburg to have apparatus and equipment that's finally up to where it should be. Council Walsh. Um, if, if we could, could we just acknowledge? Yeah, uh, Matt Fraticelli, um, yeah. Lieutenant Ian uh, Kringen, uh, Firefighter Kyle Forrest, Lieutenant PJ Roy, and Lieutenant Mike Gelinas. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, motion has been made and seconded to approve 235.18 and 236.18. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. 237.18, in order that the City of Fitchburg approves the expenditure of funds from the Mass Emergency Management Agency grant and the approximate amount of $5,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to purchase equipment for the City's Community Emergency Response Team CERT. Uh, Letter dated July 19th from Chief Roy to the Mayor. I am requesting the City accept a grant from Mass Emergency Management in the amount of 5000 This grant will allow us to purchase equipment for our community emergency response team, such as portable power, folding chairs, banners, a projector, MREs, and medical supplies. This equipment will increase our ability to provide emergency shelters when and where there is a need. Chief Roy, do you have anything to add? Yeah, just counselors. That's our, our emergency response team, which are the volunteers that work with Lieutenant Libertori in our FEMA division. And uh, as you know, they're out providing lighting and doing pumping and do the things they do for us best. And uh, the Lieutenant does a great job, and we have a good number, I think seven or eight now, volunteers that are pretty active. So that money goes directly to what their needs are. Motion to approve. Motion made and seconded to approve 237.18. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you, Councilors. Thank you, Chief. 23818, in order that the City of Fitchburg approves the expenditure of additional funds from the Mass Department of Transportation's Municipal Small Bridge Program in the approximate amount of $90,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to repair the Ashburnham Street Bridge. Uh, Commissioner Laxo. Thank you. Yeah, you might recall uh, a year or two ago we received a grant from Mass DOT for the uh, repair of the Ashburnham Street Bridge under their new um, small bridge program. Uh, we were one of the first communities to receive that grant. So we had it designed by Western and Sampson engineers and uh, the purchasing department received bids on August 2nd. Uh, the bids were all way over the budget. Uh, those small bridge projects are difficult because, um, you know, they are small, not really, really worth the contractor's while um, to do it. So I think they're all trying to make money on those and the bid climate allows that these days because they're all busy. So, um, yeah, we're about eighty or ninety thousand dollars over the uh, budget, so we could either rebid the project, which wouldn't have done any good, um, cancel the project altogether, use Chapter ninety funds to pay the difference, or use um, available funds. But um, I figured I might as well try to ask MassDOT to see if they would give us the extra money, and uh, surprisingly enough, they did. So they gave us an extra ninety thousand dollars to cover the uh, the difference. So that's what the uh, request is before you. Council Zarella. Uh, first, I'd just like to uh, thank you for seeking out that extra funding. Uh, I know it, it's not the easiest thing to get money from the state, uh, especially if it's asking for an increase over what they're already giving. 
and I'm very glad you did. Uh, and I would like to move to approve 238. I'd like to be prior to that. Uh, Councilor Squally had her hand up first, Councilor. Councilor Squally. What is the timeline for the fixing of the Ashburnham Street Bridge? What are we looking at? When will it start and how long will it take? Well, we just got the schedule the other day. They'll, they'll start work in the field on October 1st and finish by November 30th. So it's only a two month job. That's it? That's it. Two months to fix the bridge. Right. Wow, okay. Oh, is that right too much? Well, don't forget Oak Hill Road. <laughs> Same contractor one yeah, that one. I have no other questions. Uh, I have no other hands up. Um, motion, to motion to approve 238 Second. Motion made and seconded to approve 238.18. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. It is unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. 240.18. In order that the City of Fitchburg approves the expenditure of funds from the Mass Attorney General's Office Healthy Summer Youth Jobs Program Grant and the approximate amount of $4,000 for the purpose of said grant, which is to fund youth jobs and summer employment. Uh, I have a letter here um, dated August 29th, 2018 from the Board of Parks Commissioners to the Mayor. Uh, we respectfully request that the Mayor and the City Council accept a $4,000 grant from the Attorney General's Office as described in the attached letter and allow the expenditure of funds from the grant towards the summer playground leader job positions. This grant opportunity will help to offset the cost of expanding the annual summer playground program into low playground this past summer. Neighborhood youth residents are welcomed into the park on weekdays for games, sports, and arts and crafts from 9.30 to 2.30. This program is done in partnership with the Fitchburg Public Schools Nutrition Services and provides all neighborhood youth, regardless of participation in our program, with free access to breakfast and lunch during the summer months. Um, Recreation Director Nate LaRose is here. Do you have anything to add, Mr. LaRose, to that? No. Okay. I'll leave it up to the council. Motion to approve 24018. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve 24018. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous. Thank you. Last item on the agenda, 24518. Petition of Fitchburg Retirement Board to approve the vote of the Fitchburg contribu co Contributory Board taken on June 26, 2018 to increase the supplemental annual allowance from 6000 to 12000 provided to the surviving spouses of accidental disability retirees who are unable to provide for any annual allowance to be paid to, the spouse, to their spouses at the time of their death. Uh, I have the uh, members of the Retirement Board present this evening. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, would you please state your name and record for the... Uh, the minutes. Thank you for having us. My name is John Curran. With me is Thomas Dadio, Chairman Norman LeBlanc, Calvin Brooks, and absent is Ellen Jerzyk. Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm sorry that I'm not here with a grant also, but <laughs> uh, we're looking for the money. Proceed if you uh, I don't know if you understand this, Laura, or not, but what it is, it was prior to 1996 when anybody in the city that went out on a disability did not have the option of getting an option C beneficiary to take care of their beneficiary, their spouse or whatever. So what if they were doing back then is there was a stipend to give these people right now $500 a month for the spouse of a deceased employee. What we're doing is we'd like to increase that to $1,000 a month. Right now we have 18 people that are collecting this benefit. And the range runs from some of them are getting $949 down to $500 a month. There are six other people right now in the system that may be eligible for this benefit. So it'll be a 24 people in all, and it, it's over. Like I say, in 1996, there was an option C beneficiary audit uh, offered to the people that were retiring. So what we're doing right now is just asking to increase it for these uh, survivors of people that have given their life to the city of Fitchburg. So this was previously a state law that precluded them from being able to have what, this benefit, what, and what the state it? changed it? It's a state law. Yeah. It's adopted by the state, but now because there's funding involved, it has to be accepted by the local body. Okay. Anything right now has to be accepted. So we're asking this local body to accept this going okay. forward. President Kushmark. So you said there's it, there's nine currently? Um, there are 18, 18 currently right you. now collecting it. And there's only a max of 24. There would be no there additional. There are six other ones that have the, that may collect it. Perfect. I, I think this is, uh, this is smart. This is a not only the smart thing to do, this is the right thing to do. Yeah. So this certainly has my support. Council Zarella? Yeah, this is the least we can do for people who were injured and later uh, injured or killed or later died uh, in service to the city. Uh, $500 a month is not what we should be I, I just doing I, for 
for these just people. Just so I just want to correct, but nobody was killed. It's all excellent. Okay. 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 It's excellent. excellent. No, okay. I'm, I'm glad well, to hear that. It's okay. Um, no, uh, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, these are people who are in a tight spot because of the service their spouses gave to the city. We need to take care of them. Motion to approve 245.18. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve 245.18. I have Council Boschman, but I just have one, a couple of questions. The, um, just clarifying for, for the viewing public. So this, so all the employees that we have outside of the 24 did not have this unfortunate occurrence where they didn't have that option to take. So anybody so, that goes on a disability right now right. has the option to take an option. Exactly, option. but these 24, 24 did, did not, not have, have that option. They had all retired prior to uh, 1996. 1996. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, Council Boschman. So you're saying they retired before 1996? Yes. So there was nothing on the board to say before they retired saying, geez, I'd like my wife to be on the beneficiary or something? No. Not prior to 1996, there was not, Council. They were given a small stipend. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I, I did some quick math with uh, Auditor Brooks. It's it's roughly $48,000 for the year. It represents 0.004% of our annual contribution into the pension reserve fund. So it's not even a half a percent. Um, so it's it's not like it's moving the needle at all. Uh, I, I have any no I have no more questions. Um, as that is this time the motion and the second on the floor second. there is a motion i'm sorry um okay. motion and seconded to approve 245 18. uh all those in favor aye opposed it is unanimous thank you gentlemen thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of the 24 people thank you appreciate thank you thank you hey, i have one comment uh council walsh um if you look at the the amount of the grants i i i did like rough math the, the the amount of money that we got in grants that we approved tonight was eight hundred about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars <throat> and I think that's pretty amazing so I just wanted to make that comment I'll second that. thank you very good point yep uh, mr. chair just a quick announcement yes good permit uh, ward 4 will be having a uh, award meeting specifically for residents of the high street and pleasant street quarters on Monday September 17th at 6 p.m. at the Fitchburg mm -hmm. Art Museum um, Chief Martineau will be the uh, the guest speaker and the the bulk of uh, that agenda for the meeting. Hope to see folks there. Any other announcements? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. Motion made. And second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are opposed. No post. We are adjourned. Thank you.